Hi, this is Anna from Fitec and um, today's tutorial is about um, very easy installing Windows 8. Let's start um, with the BIOS. We um, have here a 19 inch touch PC, the standard Fitec 19 inch touch PC. We press the um, double to enter the BIOS on the power up. Let's go shortly probably through. Interesting um, is, is in the BIOS at, uh, advanced um, the LVDS panel config. So you see here that's a 1440 to 900 resolution panel we use here, a 16 to 10 inch panel. And this is important, you have to set here um, the right um, resolution um, to the panel you're using. And when this is wrong, the, uh, the whole picture is, is wrong. You cannot set it in Windows, but you have to set it up in the BIOS. For every size, for every panel, um, and that's really every, that's from 8 to 65 inch when you want, um, we have a, a BIOS which is yeah, optimized for the right resolution for the panel. So um, just get from our webpage um, the right um, BIOS for your application. Now we want to install first Windows 8. Um, I have uh, connected a DVD ROM, you see it here, the Matsushita. And so you, you see it starts um, automatically. The um, second is the SATR, and so we can go ahead. Just for your information, it's um, very easy to make here um, um, a BIOS update. So what's that? We have for, for every resolution, for every panel, it's um, own BIOS. And this um, you can do directly in the BIOS um, without having um, to, to, to make any MS-DOS installation or Windows installations. Just go to the BIOS with a USB stick on which is um, the right the right um, um, BIOS and then you can go ahead. So that was it, that was the first step. Um, we have a Windows 8 DVD in the DVD ROM and so we go ahead um, um, installing Windows 8. Basically this is self-explaining, you set the language, you set um, the um, time zone and so on and on. This we can skip. See you later. Okay, we powered our system again on. And now let's go for the first installation. Windows 8 um, runs basically directly without the need to install drivers, but for sure to, to set it up right um, you, you should install um, some drivers. For Windows 7 or Windows XP um, there is no um, let's say usage which makes sense when you don't install the drivers. Also under Ubuntu we, we have an installation manual um, which you should have a check um, before you start the installation. Uh, you should install the AMD drivers. Okay, here comes the first information screen of Windows 8 and um, that's uh, special or that's a good uh, feature of um, um, our products in the industrial area even with a resistive touch um, we um, already support the Thrive uh, gishers which are which started with Windows 7 and uh, yeah, which are now um, in Windows 8 so far integrated that you cannot use the operation system well without it. So let's have a look soon. Here we are and let's start with the control panel. You see that's a Thrive gisher and we want to go to the control panel we go to the system, we check for the device manager and let's see how, how um, uh, Win8 uh, set everything up. So we have here the digital audio SPDIF which is integrated on the main board, it's a microphone and we have um, two speakers. I say later to this something, then the display adapter, this is where Windows 8 sets it wrong up and there we should definitely make a driver installation. Um, Windows 8 sets it as um, Radeon HD 6430M, but the reality it's um, uh, AMD Radeon HD 7410M. So there we should definitely make the driver installation and um, everything else is basically quite okay. Sound. Where we um, also will make a, a driver installation. is um, on the system devices. 
here um, uh, Windows 8 set also um, some points wrong. So let's go on computer, go on our driver CD, which is the DVD, which is um, um, coming with the product. Uh, what's that? Have a look here on the manuals. Um, also, there is a Windows installation manual, which um, basically helps you on um, what we are doing now. Let's go to the PC driver, to the mainboard driver, and there we go to Windows. This is Windows, and we start with the system driver, and that's the Intel system driver who sets up uh, the mainboard right. Um, for sure, the most um, um, important system drivers coming from Intel because the mainboard is based on the Intel Core um, Dual Core Atom CPU, the N2600, or here you saw it before, the N2800. So here's the welcome screen, so we go with next. Read carefully what you confirm, and then you see we appear the actual version 9.40.10.26. You can have a check on the internet um, for, for newer versions. For sure, um, um, for the Intel chipset drivers, the WLAN, um, the audio drivers, the, the network uh, drivers, you should um, um, check for um, actualized uh, drivers. You see now also in the device manager there is now um, um, happening changes. For the AMD Radeon um, graphic card drivers, um, please use the one which we um, um, integrate here with the um, driver CD or which is on our webpage. That's an uh, OEM um, specialized um, um, driver which um, um, just runs or which is optimized for the integrated 7410M graphic chipset, for example, to support special um, power energy saving options, which is not in the um, standard um, AMD driver chipset included. So, this you see um, after we installed the Intel chipset drivers, you should follow um, that installation and take this from our web page or from the driver DVD. It's already next, so want to restart, that's what we are doing. And so let's restart and then we go ahead with the graphic chipset driver installation. Let's have a, another try for the for the control panel. Here we have it directly. Okay, we go to hardware and sound. We open the device manager and we go again back to on our driver CD. So for the driver, we install the Intel system drivers, and now we go to the graphic drivers. Let's go here. And we have here our Windows 8 solution. And go with setup. And we follow here again also the standard procedure. Okay. Let's go. We go with English. We say install. We make the express setup, go forward, we read carefully and accept it, we create a folder and the rest goes automatically and you will see here again in the device manager now um, that the graphic uh, chipset is recognized well, it's a 7410M and that's absolutely special about our mainboard. We have an Intel core, a dual core, the N2600 or the N2800 and we combine this um, with the AMD Radeon 7410M. Why we do this? Um, because the Intel Core um, just supports 32-bit and has a very weak graphic, has a very bad uh, driver support uh, for Windows XP, there is no Windows 8 support. And this all we heal um, by combining um, on the mainboard the Intel CPU with the AMD chipset. And now we have a really powerful system which still can be um, cooled fanless and uh, that makes uh, the mainboard quite unique, what's that? You can have more information on our webpage or on another 
YouTube video about it. Okay, the installation is complete. Meanwhile, we just connected to the to our network. You shouldn't see the password. We see if it works here. The signal is sometimes not so good. Okay, so you see here um, now it changed to Radeon 704010M. Okay, after the reboot, um, don't be afraid. AMD um, uh, sets up several um, points. It's really a black screen with um, um, uh, the command line um, and there some, some things are changed in the system. This takes also a while, but when this is set up... Okay, the installation is done. What I want to set now shortly is you didn't hear so far a sound. So it checks the playback devices and that's uh, quite interesting. Now you see the AMDI HDMI output is also configured the digital SPDIF which we, which we offer and um, this when no um, Realtek drivers are installed he um, offers two speakers one is the ear out and the second is the um, loudspeaker so we change to the loudspeaker and now you have it so the system basically is, uh, is um, um, now, now installed and it's enough um, I want to show you shortly how to update to Windows 8.1. That's here, but we are right now not connected to the internet. Let's have a look why. So now we are back. We are um, connected. And let's try again if we can go to the store. Back to the control panel. At least that's the way I do. Go to Windows Update. and. We check for updates. This take really uh, uh, it can uh, date uh, take an afternoon. So let's go for all the updates. Install um, the updates, and afterwards um, in the store you can update to Windows 8.1. So in the Windows installation process, you see you have a lot of installations. This one goes again with 500 megabytes and um, it takes a while to finish all but what's that when you want to go to uh, Windows 8.1 you have to first make a Windows Actual that you should definitely do always and once this is finished you can upgrade in the store which we will do at the end okay let's wait to finish this one Installing all the updates takes a lot of time and you have several times restarts. Again a short information, um, even that we downloaded and installed before already more than 70 updates after doing this. Um, and even that he says that your system is now actual, um, sorry I didn't um, make a video about this. You have to check again for um, updates manually and then you see it, he finds again for example here 12 more updates which we now reinstall and what's that, this process you should do until um, Windows 8 um, doesn't find any more needed updates when you go for checking for updates. So. You see finally there is no update ready and then let's go to the store. Here we have it. Zack. And now it should offer us as first position the Windows 8.1 update. So here it starts and you see update Windows. It's loading a little bit slow. What's that? the server here from China to wherever the Microsoft server stands, probably in America is a little bit slow. So let's have a click. And let's start for download. And that's it. Is 
when everything has loaded. Let's make another. Oh, there we go. What's that? The internet connection from China is sometimes a little bit slow. So you can see here now the status in installations. You can go anytime back to this one and you will be informed when Windows 8.1 has set up and then after restart it will have several several time again to, to finish it but then you have the most actual Windows system on your Fatec here 19 inch touchscreen PC. I hope this tutorial helped you a little bit and see you for the next one. Bye bye.